What's up everyone, Ryfx here. Today I'm going to review the PlayArts Kai Watchmen Warshack. Or at least what my dad likes to call him, Horse Shack. Because he looks like a horse. I, I guess, I don't know where he gets that from. Looks nothing like a horse. So, or, or a shack. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, uh, up here it says, Warning, choking hazard, hazard, small parts for children under three years and for ages 17 years and up uh, it says watchman inside and then here we have a, a picture of the figure it, you could tell from little areas where his articulation and ball joints are so that is a picture of the figure and with the nice design that looks like it could come from the movie itself and some rain effects it says Player Sky action figure, then Warshack, and then in Japanese Warshack. And I'll bring it closer. You see, it says DC Comics, Warner Brothers, and all that stuff. Bring it a little close. A view. So, yeah, really nice. Really nice box art. Looks totally out of the movie so let's go to the side Watchmen Player Sky action figure then Warshack it's all in the, the Watchmen yellow here's the back of the box and it says who watches the Watchmen and it says uh, Warshack Watchmen Player Sky action figure and all this is in Japanese basically warning caution don't choke on your war shack. Um, then we see another picture here. It's a really nice picture. Looks like it's from the movie. I had to look at it a couple times. And it's a picture of the figure. That looks really awesome. And then here he has with his homemade uh, flamethrower there. With the, the uh, hairspray can. And then his grappling hook. Totally not like Batman's. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. Real nice uh, picture art. And then here we have the side of the box. Has like a, a, a clock there. Uh, Watchmen, Warshack, Player's Kai action figure. And then we'll look at the bottom. There's nothing really there. And we'll look at the top. And yeah. Nothing special there. So here's the inside of the box. Behind you, it says right there. And it has like a war shack. Little uh, initials. It's awesome. So see another picture of the figure here he's holding like the rose a rose for uh, the comedian yeah that's freaking awesome sorry for the glare everything just bouncing off of it so yeah here I'll let you uh, check out the intro here I'm not going to read all that to you, it just wastes a lot of time for the video. So yeah, you can just pause it when you need to. So yeah, that is cool, very cool. And I'll show you the figure and its accessories. Now here's the Warshack figure with all of its accessories, except for this stand he's on. Uh, as you can tell, this over here, in back of him, in this uh, little area, uh, that is the stand. And the problem is, uh, this is what you get uh, inside the box. This is part of the box, basically. And yeah, you have to rip that open, tear it apart, so you can get that display stand out. 
and as a collector I I do not like that I wish it came in its own clamshell case so then if need if I need to I could put it back and in this box and it'll be just fine but yeah with that it's gonna get ripped open and you know, you know uh, kind of loses that collectible value so yeah I not a fan of that uh, if you want to see what that looks like I uh, it came with the Halo 4 Master Chief player it's Kai and I opened that one up and you could see what that looks like it's the same thing as that it's a sturdy stand it's really strong and yeah I just wish they packaged that up differently so anyways um, down here uh, he has a different uh, jacket for him uh, this well under uh, trench coat I mean uh, I'll show you how this goes on a little bit later so yeah basically uh, you could stick his uh, peg holes from his uh, wrist into here so it looks like he has his uh, arms uh, hands in his pockets so yeah that's really cool and it's kind of like a rubbery so it could stretch out if you needed to so yeah that is cool and you have several different hands get a pair of fisted hands right here really nice very sturdy strong hands quality of player it's Kai and then you have some open hands well this one's open uh, so it kinda looks like he's gonna grasp grasp something and it's not really used to hold anything but this one is used to hold his uh, uh, his grappling hook so yeah there is that and you have this hand, it's used to hold uh, a flamethrower, well the flame of the flamethrower, like this piece here. And then he has another piece which is used to hold the one he's holding right now. So basically the same thing with this, with the one he's holding, you just basically stick this in here like that. And yeah, it's really tight, I'm not sure why they made it like that so yeah oops not sure why they couldn't uh, loosen this up maybe I just have a defective one where it's not open as much as it should be but yeah that's how it looks I think he used like paper I think that's what this is he lit the flame with some paper and then he started spraying the can like that or or his matches or something man I can't remember it's, it's been a while since I've seen the movie but I, I did like it so that's why I had to get this I was a big fan of Warshack and then here we have a rose Nice detail. Then we have Warshak's journal. He was writing all that stuff. Can't get any closer than that, guys. But yeah. And it basically says uh, 1984 to 1985. And then it says journal on the top. Do apologize, I can't get any closer. It's just my camera lens is, uh, yeah. I just I need one for a little bit more closer up stuff one day I'll get one and here's the hook looks like it's gonna grapple onto something and then here's the grappling hook itself and you use this hand to uh, hold it see it just fits in really nice Really easy. And here's his different heads. 
as you know his face does change all the time during the movie so you have this face and it's just you know it, they make it look like a mask real well like right here around his ear area looks like it's fitted over him so yeah it's really nice and then you get this face yeah pretty same same thing as the other one and um, let me get into the figure itself now here's the Warshack figure looking awesome I just love this guy uh, <laughs> my favorite character in the movie the most interesting character in the movie I think he just kinda has that uh, Batman type attitude even though Owlman was kinda the costume version of him this one kinda has that detective part of him so yeah and then you can see him holding the flamethrower with this hand the the hand I showed you before and this one are pretty much identical but this one's a little bit bigger it's kinda weird uh, I think that other one maybe a little bit more fitted for the like the rose and the the journal I believe so yeah and then this one's probably just specifically for the fire holding the fire and then this hand is uh, meant just to hold the spray can. It, it they're one piece. They they aren't separate pieces. So yeah. And the thing is, is uh, that I don't like is that the trench coat is actually pretty uh, light color brown. Uh, in the movie, he is, it was more darker t uh, to me. So yeah. It only looks darker here because it's kind of uh, darker in my room right now. I kind of made it so so this figure would look a little bit better because the movie was pretty much dark throughout the whole thing. There was no real uh, bright scenes at all. So I tried to make my room as dark as possible without, you know, hurting... Uh, you know, like hurting, uh, seeing any detail on this figure. So, yeah. Bottom of the trash coat. It's real bendy here. And then the pants. Just love how it's all messed up there. That's awesome. His boots. Really cool. So, um, his hat comes off, or his fedora, rather, just comes off, and yeah. So, let me show you how the trench coat works. You just pull it off like that, and it is off, and all you do is pull this off, and then pull this down. Pull it over and then attach it back. Let's see, there's a little, see how that you have to line it up. Then you just line it up, push in, there you go. It's in there. So let me take his hands off. Comes out real easy. That's what I like about the Playoffs Kai's figures there. The pegs are real sturdy and things come out pretty easy. Except this one kind of got pulled out. So, yeah. And then all you have to do is stick it in there. I can find the hole there. And there you go. It, his hands are in his pockets. At least one hand is. 
and then there's the other one. Not hard at all. <laughs> Real cool. And I love this mask. I, uh, this really looks like uh, what he mainly had in the movie. It was always changing, but I don't know. I just feel like I've seen this version of his mask a lot more. So I just kept it on. This is the one that's uh, when you get the figure is what he has on already. So, yeah. Let's look at that. Cool. You think you're reviewing me, but I'm reviewing you. <laughs> let's see. Alright, let's do some articulation. That's what I was forgetting to do. So, let's take his hat off. Uh, he doesn't go up much on his head at all turn it and twist it there that's about all he goes so yeah not much as far as head articulation uh, no real ab twist at all go a little bit forward but it's not much um, it's not really meant to it's probably from that little area uh, when I detach his trench coat and then that's about it in, on his shoulder area then down like that of course and go back and then let's go forward and that's about it for his arm and you got some twist here up here you could twist it and like that you can see that as far as his elbow it's about all he goes and then back then for his leg articulation it's going to be hard to see because of his chinch coat but he could go all the way back like that and then for his uh, knee that is straight right there and you could go all the way back like that. So good articulation as far as there. And for his ankle, go there. Let's try that again. From there to there. And then he has some toe articulation. Oops. It's very, yeah, it was kind of tough hasn't been broken in yet but yeah there's his toe articulation and then down to there and then you no know, twist here as you move his uh, joints so yeah I think that's all I got I'll do my conclusion as usual so yeah in conclusion to my review here I gotta say I really like this figure I believe he came with everything you pretty much see Warshack uh, with, at least in items. Has that uh, homemade flamethrower, his uh, grappling hook gun, uh, his journal, that rose we saw him with. I think the only thing uh, that we haven't, that we don't see here uh, is that butcher knife he had to uh, when he was going to kill that guy for killing that girl that little girl or little girls but I'm not sure if it was many of them but anyways yeah he kind of went psycho in that that second oh he's kind of kind of is psycho but anyways um, yeah I believe he came with nearly everything that we saw him with in the movie so and I really love the uh, where you could stick his uh, his hands in his pockets. That is awesome. I really love that. Uh, and it and it looks real good, like how I have him here. Uh, just looks amazing. And this figure was 
just like the Dark Knight uh, uh, figure that I have, the Player Sky one. This is really meant to uh, be used in certain light lighting conditions. That's what those pictures on the box were, you know, meant to show off because of uh, just the level of detail that is on this guy. So he's really meant to go in certain light. Um, either at the end of this video or maybe on my Facebook or Twitter page, I'll probably post up some pics, pictures uh, of him in certain lighting conditions and, and just show how awesome he looks. Um, I just wish his trench coat was a little bit uh, the darker brown because I believe in the movie it's, uh, it's really more of a darker brown than what we see here. Um, the only reason it kind of looks a little bit more darker here is because, you know, the lighting's dark. So I guess that is why it was lighter. I guess, uh, you know, those low lighting conditions, I suppose, is meant to be featured in. So I'm not 100% not sure. But yeah. Um, I really like the figure and I do recommend it but the problem is is you know um, the price uh, I'm not sure if Players Kai is and Square Enix are getting a little bit big-headed or something but this figure is going for about a hundred bucks between 90 and 110 dollars yeah you heard me right <laughs> that is about a 50 percent increase from a year and a half ago i believe the last player's kai i bought yeah yep i think the it was about 60 between 50 and 60 so yeah that is what this guy is running at so I'm not sure if this is going to be like a limited re release that is why it's so high or what it, what the reason for it is um, but yeah uh, the price is just absolutely insane that is a bit too high from what I just paid a couple years ago for um, that Master Chief figure um, and that Dark uh, Knight Returns figure is just kind of crazy. Um, the Devil May Cry figures were like seven. Well, those were seventy. But uh, e even those, even though those were pretty high price, uh, it just wasn't. You know, it, at least it wasn't a hundred and something dollars. Jeez, uh, so that is a problem with this guy. I was able to pick him up for a little bit cheaper because this is the Japanese uh, release. That's why there's a, a lot of Japanese uh, lettering on it. I guess someone was expecting to get the U.S. one, and they got the Japanese one, and I was able to pick this pick this guy off a little bit cheaper than than that. Because if not, I, I wouldn't be doing this review right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I do recommend them. But if you could find them for cheaper, maybe 70 or something. Which is kind of, which is going to probably be hard to do. Because uh, considering this is probably the only Warshack figure I think has ever come out. At least in this amount of detail, and I doubt Hot Toys is gonna touch the Watchmen uh, license anytime soon, or even Sideshow, or any of those uh, bigger companies. So the only way to get a Warshack figure is through these guys, and I think they're taking advantage of that probably. So yeah, um, do recommend them. But just try your try your best to find them a bit cheaper, because I don't 
believe there he's worth that much <laughs> not in the hundreds it's that is crazy but yeah that is my review uh thank you all for watching and i'll catch y'all next time bye bye